All right, Nicholas sent us the best model SD card to buy for 3D printers. The one that came with my SR CR6 SE keeps needing reformatting. Yeah, it's probably one of those NETAC cards. Um, I've thrown out so many of them because they just stopped working. I mean, we carry a basic G code uh, or basic SD card. It's a four gig card. My experience with the printers has been the smaller capacities are going to work better with the printers in terms of board compatibility. Um, do not go over 32 gigs. Most boards will not read a, a card bigger than 32 gigs. I recommend staying in like the one to eight gig size. We do carry, like I said, four gig cards. Um, I'll post a link in the chat. Um, and they're just, and they're also fat, fat 32 formatted by default. Um, I'm grabbing the link right now. So, but yeah, typically smaller cards I've had less issues with. I'm not saying that the bigger cards won't work. I've been just giving my experience is that larger cards, I've had more issues with larger cards not reading, um, having weird issues with corruption with G-code. Um, and then, you know, if you're not going to buy something, a card from us, go with something from a name brand company. Um, don't buy off-brand cards. You can get something from PNY, SanDisk, um, Kingston, Patriot Memory, um, I know I'm forgetting some, uh, micro centers cards, they're cheap, but th they suck. They suck. You get what you pay for. Um, I'm trying to remember what other brands PNY Kingston SanDisk Patriot memory. Those are like the four I stick to when I'm buying cards. Um, outside of that, I, I typically don't buy other brands just cause most of the other ones are going to be like weird you know, no-name Chinese brands and who knows the quality. Um, the other thing too is be careful when buying on Amazon, um, specifically with like SanDisk brands. Um, there's a lot of companies selling fake SanDisk cards on there. So I, if you're going to go buy a card, I would probably either, if you're not going to get one from us, go to like Best Buy or something, like an actual store. You're not going to get fake cards from somewhere like Best Buy. So yeah, Samsung, I don't know why Samsung says my mind, but also Samsung cards also have had, I've gotten counterfeit Samsung cards from Amazon. So if you want to go buy a card, go get it from the store and buy a name brand. Um, you know, if you're going to order something online, like I said, we do have ours. They're only a couple bucks. I'm, I didn't even look at the price. They're, they're, they're $4.50 for a four gig card. So, um, yeah, Gigastone. I actually have a Gigastone from something. I think it came with a printer, but that's also just an off brand. They're, they're not a name brand. Um, for me, I've had too many issues with off brand SD cards. It's not worth the hassle. I'll, I'll spend a couple extra bucks. If I, you know, if I need a bigger capacity one, I'll go with one of the name brands I mentioned. Um, if I'm printing off of a SD card, which is very rarely, I usually will use ours. Um, like if we're at events or something, we'll usually use SD cards on the printers at the booths. So if you like this clip, this is taken from our Ask Tim stream that we do every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to watch that whole stream, you can go ahead and click here. Otherwise, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure to change the bell to all notifications to get notified when we go live in the future.